In this Mobavi Ideas episode, you will learn how to make five cool effects for your videos at home using only your smartphone and only a few things that literally everyone has at home. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Mobavi vlog and you all know the popular cloning effect where you see two identical people in the shot, they somehow interact with each other and as a rule this effect is achieved with the help of a compositing software using masks and stuff. But today I will show you one simple tool right in the Mobavi video editor which will help you quickly make the effect but in order to use this tool properly you need to shoot it properly as well. Somehow fix your camera, the best is to put it on a tripod and also fix the exposure and the focus point. This is extremely important. And now you need to imagine a line that runs exactly in the middle of your shot. This will be the dividing line of the shot. Do not cross it. Then click the record button, make sure that the camera does not move at all and be ready to make two takes. But before that, here's something important to understand. Of course you can shoot a reaction how you react to your clone's actions or maybe how you communicate with yourself. But as for me, all of it is boring. The best is when one of the clones throws an object to another. But now we have a little problem. The trajectory of your object in the first and second take should be almost the same. Otherwise, if you miss it, it will fly in here and fly out there. To make this, call a friend and practice a few throws so that you understand exactly what trajectory will your object make. And it's also preferable to use a small object. We took a deck of cards. And now everything is simple. In the first take, you throw an object to your friend and in the second one, vice versa. Now we drag these two takes to the mobile video editor, create a second track by clicking on this icon, click add a video track and place one on top of another. Then click the top shot, go to all tools, the overlay section and we're interested in split by side left or split by side right, depending on which part of the shot you're sitting in. I'm sitting on the left so I choose the split by side left. And then literally in the preview window you can grab it and move it right to the very end and you will get a perfect merge of two shots. Then you just need to adjust the moment on the timeline where your object meets with the same object but in a different take. And the effect is ready. You don't have to be an experienced videographer or have the latest top-of-the-line computer to recreate many of the TikTok trends we're breaking down in today's episode. If you want to make eye-catching videos without wasting your precious time on learning, Mobavi Video Editor Plus 2022 is what may come in handy. This intuitive program includes tools for basic and advanced video editing and a big built-in effects collection which can be renewed with the help of themed add-ons from Mobavi Effects Store. Mobavi Video Editor Plus is designed to save your time. Many operations can be done in a few clicks. And the best thing about this program is that it runs on average computers. So basically, Mobile Video Editor Plus 2022 can help you make cool videos for your YouTube channel, TikTok, and any other social media, even if you're not experienced at video editing or don't have a powerful computer. Use our special coupon VLOG20 or simply click on the link in the description to get a 20% discount on the annual subscription to Mobavi Video Editor Plus 2022. And feel free to share the coupon with your friends. Do you remember the first Mobavi Ideas tutorial where I showed you the forced perspective effect? This time we're going to the next level. Now we'll create our own large cap for a cup of coffee. To make the cap we took a large thick white paper, we drawn the inner circle and the outer circle, then we cut this circle out, made cuttings along the entire length of the circle, folded under and glued them together. As as a result, we have this giant cap. Now place an ordinary coffee cup right in front of the camera, but make sure that the inner side of the cup is not visible. Then take your big cover that you've just made and step back so far so that the size of this cover matches the size of the cup. You also have to visually fit yourself into this cup with no sticking out body parts. Besides, the positive side of this effect, the worse your camera is, the easier it will be for you to shoot it. Because the bigger the camera, the larger the sensor and the 
bit easier for you to have this shallow depth of field. And if shallow depth of field is quite noticeable, then the camera focuses either on the foreground or on the background. And if the shallow depth of field is quite noticeable, then the camera focuses either on the foreground or on the background. One of it is blurred out and the effect will be completely ruined. Thus, technically, it is better to do this effect on a budget smartphone or a regular webcam. You can appear this way on a Zoom call, for example. And also keep in mind that it's not necessary to put a cup on the table as well as we did. It was just in our case because it was really more convenient to film. But if it's not working in your case, put the cup just above the floor level. You will only need some kind of a stool or a bench to get up on and then just jump off so that you can successfully step over this cup. Then when you jumped off, you just go ahead and grab the cup. And in general, we have done the effect right in camera. You can already upload it to your social media. But if you want to make this effect a little more interesting, you can use a compositing software. In this compositing software, you can extend the table which the cup stands on to create the illusion that a person is standing on the same table near the cup. But with this, new difficulties appear. You need to circle a cup with a mask to put it on top of a new table. I also found a photo with a pencil to hide my legs, reflected myself, made a blurry reflection for more realism, a little work with masks, a couple of hours, and we did it. The next effect is inspired by Kevin B. Perry, where you can print your photo in real time. Sit right in front of the camera, take a laptop or a separate keyboard and press the space bar or enter. Then freeze and ask a friend to take a screenshot right while recording the video. Take this screenshot and print a photo. Take this photo in your left or right hand, hold it right in front of the camera so that it completely fills the composition of the shot. Click record, quickly pull this photo and freeze again. Take a screenshot at this moment again Again, print another photo again and repeat the same thing but with the other hand. It can be repeated as many times as you need. In the last take, just drop this photo and return to the starting position to create a loop. In the mobile video editor, we just cut these shots exactly at the moments when we start pulling this photo back. Add a music track and the effect is ready. The following effect is perfect if you're selling your merch. For example, a shirt in different colors. And this is a pretty good way to reveal your merch in TikTok, Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. Put your camera on a tripod and stand in front of the camera at one position. And then make similar movements, for example, swipe your shoulder or just pull it. And repeat these movements with every color of your t-shirt in free takes. Then grab these free takes to the mobile video editor and cut exactly at the movements that you made. As a result you will get a cool switch from one color to another, but that's not all. Render this cut and transfer the finished video back to the timeline. Then go to all tools, animation, click add animation, the first keyframe at the very beginning, the second keyframe at the very end. Click two times on the last keyframe and stretch it. As a result you will get a smooth zoom in effect. Now make a copy of this video, Control c Control v go to the clip properties and check the reverse box. Repeat this step several times, add music and the effect is ready. The fifth effect is inspired by Kevin Lost Garden and is all about creating a perfect loop. You can make this effect only in a compositing software and making it is more difficult than it might seem at a first glance. To begin with, how to film it. Cut out four small squares, preferably green like chroma key, and glue them to the four corners of your door. This will come in useful a little later. Then close the door, grab an object, a pillow for example, which you can throw when you go out, wide open the door so that the handle is not visible in the shot, this is very important, open the door, drop this object and exit the shot. The rest of the work is done in a compositing software. The main difficulty is the fact that when we wide open the door, the light around us changes. You can see new reflections, so it's almost impossible to make a perfect loop. In this case, we need to freeze the shot, cut out the doorway and insert the final image into this doorway where the pillow is already lying on the bed. Make the image a 3D layer and animate it in 3D 
space along with opening door. And to fill this remaining hole we put the original shot on the lowest layer, but at the moment when a person steps over the door sill, he begins to disappear and therefore it's necessary to do rotoscoping. And we do it right until the person leaves the shot. And as a result we have a perfect loop. Now guys, we need to understand one important thing. Which effects do you like the most? Which ones do you dislike the most? Be sure to write about it in the comments so that we understand what to shoot next. Maybe you know some effects that you want us to break down on the channel. Also, smash the like button if this video was helpful to you and see you in the next video.